Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be swatching the polishes that I won, um, not won, I've lost my mind, that Miss Tammy from Mrs. K's Corner sent me, won them. I've lost my mind. You guys just have to pardon me. I haven't had enough coffee, obviously. So, uh, before I get started, I wanted to, um, I'm fixing to take this manicure off, and this is one of the polishes that was in it. It was actually what started it, and this one's Jackie O by Color Club. And I'm not going to swatch that one today because I've already worn it on my nails and, you know, there's already going to be a video totally devoted to this one. So, I will be missing or passing on that one. So, I'm going to get everything ready, get this nail polish off, and we're going to hop on into it. I'll be right back. Alright, we've got Blank Out by China Glaze. The next is Boho Blues by China Glaze. And Shocking Pink and then I'm with the lifeguard and I'm gonna swatch four at a time today it just seems to work pretty good for me and we're gonna go in with our first coat of blank out and you know I'm not a big fan of white polish and this is kind of off-white but it actually did pretty good I mean it was opaque in two coats and you know you can't ask for much more than that and then boho blues gorgeous and then shocking pink and we all know Tina loves her some pink this one's looking very peachy on camera but in real life it was very pink a little streaky but we're gonna do a second coat now this one surprised me it's got shimmer in there for days I was floored I was like what but it also dried matte which also surprised me we're gonna get to that here in a minute but we're going to go in with our second coat. And I have sped this up. I do not want you guys thinking that I paint my nails this fast. I mean, you know, I might could, but it would not be pretty. Woody would hate me and, you know, it would just, it would be canarly. But this was going to be a really long video if I had not sped up the footage. So we went ahead and did it. And there we go with our second coat of Boho Blues. So happy to have these in my collection. I, you know, these colors a lot of these colors were on my wish list a lot of these polishes were and it just it still just floors me like Tammy was in my head Miss Case Corner knew what I needed and sent it to me it's so funny and look at this now out of these four I know you guys think shocking pink was going to be my favorite but I think the green one stole the show and we're going to go in with this one from China Glaze made for peach other and Essie's Bell Bottom Blues. And then we've got a topper called Sparkle on Top by Essie. And then Essie's Plain Koi. So excited about these. So I have put black on one of my nails for the topper. So we're going to go in first with this Made for Peach Other. The very good neutral. Um, and I got a little sloppy with it. That was my bad. It was not the fault of the polish. It wasn't really a runny polish. I just kind of got crazy. But um, this is a very good mani mannequin hands color for me. It just really goes really well with, with my skin tone. And then Bell Bottom Blues. I was so looking forward to this one. It had a great formula. You know, SE sometimes can be hit or miss. I think they're getting better, um, you know, as time goes on. I think for the most part, I've, you know, I've moved on from the bad, bad, ones with the bad formulas and here's that topper top, topper called sparkle on top and I just put it over black not very inventive but it'll work for a swatch and here is plain koi that is a fall color if I have ever seen one it reminds me of like you know pumpkin lattes and pumpkin pie and you know pumpkins gorgeous we're gonna go back in with the second coat of made for peach other this one had a really good formula and I was really really happy with it and then bell bottom blues it's just a gorgeous polish and I don't even think the camera's doing it justice it's just so pretty and I'm gonna be a junkie and just go on put another coat of that sparkle on top on just cuz you know what I can I can get all glitter tastic on it and then Finally, our second coat of Plain Koi. Now, I'm having a lot of trouble picking a favorite on this batch, but I think I'm going to have to go with Plain Koi. 
Okay, up next we've got some simple colors, and this is kitty pink. And next is pure ice, and it is It's All a Blur. And then another simple colors from the Starstruck collection. It's Rocket Out and Pure Ice's Sure Bet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Polishes get me all excited. So here we go with that first coat of the simple colors. This is so pretty. It dries down matte, but it's got some shimmer in it that since it does go matte, that shimmer just pops off of it. It is so pretty. And then it's all bleu. This is just freaking gorgeous. And the formula, let me just tell you, I was blown away by the formula. Probably could have got away with one coat. Now I'm putting this topper over the from Simple Colors, you know, rock it out. I'm putting it over the um, Color Club one. I'm going to have to do some fishing for some stars. But I'm doing the Color Club Jackie O underneath it so you guys did get to kind of see it by itself before I went and put stuff over it. There we go. We got a couple of stars. Hot diggity dog. Look at that. Mm. Love it when that works. And then here we go with the other pure ice. Now this formula also was really good. I'm telling you pure ice is so underrated. It just blows my mind. So you can see that one has dried down matte. It's not even fully dry yet but it's already mattified. And it's just so cool. And that nail is getting wonky curvy, y'all. I don't know what to do. I, don't, I guess I need to take them back some. And then all the blue. Mm. And I'm going to leave that one alone because it's already, you know, done up. And then we're going to go in with that um, tan pure ice one. I've done forgotten the name. I'm sorry. I just, you know, so many polishes going through my hands so quickly. So this one, my favorite one, was all a blur. Now we're going to go with OPI's Pros and Bronze. And this one probably would work good as a topper. And then Color Club. Oh, I can't read it. It's silver. And then <laughs> I'm so swamped by OPI. And Sally Hansen's Wet Cement. This is the original version. So we're going to hop on in here if the camera will behave. And get these coats going. Now this is that pros and bronze and I really do think it would be a great topper and you could get it opaque on its own. I think I'm going to do three coats today but I love it because it's like bronze and pink shimmers in there. Absolutely yummy. Love it. And this silver has from Color Club Sorry, the camera's so blurry. It has an impeccable formula. It could be a one-coater for sure. I bet it stamps like a dream, too. We're going to have to try it. And here we go with I'm So Swamped, which is just really, really nice. The formula is amazing. And then here we go with um, Wet Cement from Sally Hansen. This one had a great formula also. And here we go with our second coat of Pros and Bronze. And I am going to do a second coat of this one, even though it doesn't need it, because it was so perfect on that first coat. But you know, I'm a two coat person. i, I got to do my two coats at least. And then I'm So Swamped by OPI, again, for the second coat. Round two, ding, ding, ding. This is a beautiful green. I love it. Love it. Love it. And then Wet Cement from Sally Hansen. This one's going to be a great one to use for nail art. There we go. And I have decided to go on for that third coat for Pros and Bronze. It is just so glittery pretty. I bet you that one's just amazing over a dark color or you know, a burnt orange or something. Mm. Very pretty. Okay, so Swamped was my favorite in this one. Now here's the last polish. It's a color changing one called Tankini by Color Club. And I'm going to apply this one to my ring finger. And it goes on a very hot pink, much like Jackie O from earlier. But it is um, 
it is a mood changing or temperature changing polish. So it's dried down. I'm going to add a second coat to it. And I'm only going to do two coats because this is just for swatching purposes. You might want to do three if you do this one at home. You know, on your own nails, depending on your visible nail line. And here we go. I have top coated it and it's dry. And you can see my tip is a little darker than the rest of the nail. I've got kind of hottish warm water on one side. And then it goes real light pink. And then in the blue, I'm going to have to hold my finger steady because I'm trying to get half and half. There you go. Now you can see the line a little better. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.